Hey, this is John with Flow. In this video, we're going to walk you through installing an XDR style cassette on your Flow wheel. If you have selected an XDR Freehub type for your wheel, you're gonna to want to install an XDR compatible cassette. Now these are much different than the traditional cassettes you'll find on like a Shimano SRAM Freehub. The way this works is this is one solid gear cluster, which is awesome because they don't fall apart. And what you're gonna notice here is as opposed to a specific key fitting, there's actually threads that sit here. So this cassette will actually thread in place. On the inside of the cassette itself, I'm just gonna show you this. This is a cassette lockering tool. It's the same as you would find for a Shimano SRAM type free hub. You can put this in place and it actually spins. There's a working piece inside that spins that allows these threads on the inside to turn. Because of that, we like to add a little bit of grease on the inside just to make sure that that spins smoothly and that those threads on the inside have some grease. We use a Park PPL1 and just a small brush. You can add a bit to the end of the brush. And on the inside, just kind of paint that on the threads. Make sure that that spins on well. Another thing we do is we actually add just a little bit of grease also to the threads on the free hub itself. Add a bit more grease to the brush. Just paint that on in place. There we go. Now, depending on the cassette that you have, it's either gonna be XD, which is 11 speeds, or XDR, which is a 12 speed cassette. And in this case, we have what's uh, considered an XD, so it's only 11 speeds. Now, the wheel itself is gonna ship with a spacer. This is a 1.8 millimeter spacer that we can place on because this is an XDR free hub that will allow us to install this XD cassette. So you place that spacer on, and there's no specific key fitting for this. You just have to actually slide this over. And once that's over and in place, you're gonna to wanna to use a crescent style wrench like this. This one has an actual keyed fitting built right into the wrench. Sometimes you'll just get the cassette lock ring tool itself and then you'll use a cassette wrench to tighten it. With that in place, these XDR or XD compatible uh, cassettes will actually need to be threaded in place. So we find it's often best to lay it down so that your threads will engage. So with that done, you can start to tighten this. And what that'll do is it'll thread that cassette on and you'll get to a spot where it starts to get tight. Keep going and then eventually it stops because you've hit the bottom of those threads. Now that is completely on and secure in place. In order to remove this, you're gonna add an additional tool which is called a chain whip tool. And now the chain whip tool allows you to hold the cassette in place when you're unthreading this cassette. When you tighten it, your free hub is engaged, so you can actually turn against it. If you go the opposite direction counterclockwise, your free hub just spins, so you need something to hold it in place. So what you can do is just hold the wheel, and you'll take your chain whip tool. Now the chain whip tool is gonna allow you to push in the opposite direction. So you're gonna wanna unthread counterclockwise, so you wanna push this the opposite direction, which means you wanna lay the chain over this way. If you put it this way, the way this tool works, you'll be pushing the same way as you're trying to unthread and that's not what you want. So make sure you lay it over in this orientation. Make sure you get a number of the teeth to engage on that chain. Then you start to unthread and you'll have to use this basically until it's completely unthreaded. and then you can check it. Once you get to a certain spot, take that off, and this should just slide out of place. If you've loosened it just a little bit, 
what you'll find is that it won't come off because some of those threads are still engaged. But once it's all, all the way unthreaded, you can take it off just like that. And that's how to install and uninstall a XDR XD cassette.